Well, hello, it's Nano here, and now we're gonna see how to use Python with Anaconda to create different Python environments that you can use. In this case, uh, just to exemplify, with different versions of the TensorFlow machine learning framework that you can then expose as kernels uh, for Jupyter notebooks to be able to use. That way you will be able to have Jupyter running different notebooks at the same time with different versions of TensorFlow on the same computer, the same moment, concurrently. All right, so let's see what we need to do that. So we've seen in this, this is part of the machine learning series. And the first thing that we need to do here is to make sure that we have a Conda version installed. So I'll just go ahead and, and just do which Conda to make sure that uh, I have it installed or at least uh, Conda version. So we we can see also what Python version we have. And we can also take a look at uh, the Jupyter version we have, right? So these are the three things we're gonna use. We're gonna use Python, we're gonna use Conda, and we're gonna use Jupyter afterwards to check that what we've done is working. So I'm going to create a new environment. So we're gonna say Conda create, and then we're gonna say, TF V two to uh, one, for instance, and we're going to make sure we want to install the IPy kernel library and we want to say yes for all the prompts to automatically get accepted. So we're going to do that. Let's see, maybe we just do TensorFlow slash two point two point one. And then we go ahead and click on enter. And then we're going to use the exact same command. So we're going to do create another kernel. That's going to be conda create. And the name now is going to be TF 2.3.1. Also with IPy kernel. And also accepting all the prompts for the the prompts or the questions to get accepted. We see here, so we see on the left that we can now run Conda activate TF221 to activate that kernel, but bear in mind that we haven't yet installed TensorFlow to that environment. So here it says warning, unable to create environment file, path not writable. Uh, not sure what that's doing. Unable to create environment file, but not writable. Very fine transaction. So yeah, maybe there's something that's failing there that I'm not aware of, but this seems that it was working on before. So we're just gonna copy this command here and activate that. And I'm gonna activate this as well. If I look here at my notes, the thing that we need to do after activating is use Python 3. So Python 3, is the version. So if we do Python here and do version, but now we do Python three. So let's just run it once again. So you see it, Python version and then Python three version. Versions are different and it's because they're actually different installations of the same, the same program of Python. So if we do which Python, we see that this is Python three that is located at the user local Bing. And if we do which Python three, we see that this is part of our newly created environment. So we wanna use, make sure that we use this Python library, the Python three on our environment to expose our kernel. So we can do Python three uh, M IPy kernel to use the IPy kernel library to install in our user Uh, TensorFlow, in this case, 2.2.1 environment, and the display name is going to be TensorFlow 2.2.1, and we're gonna put here ML, for instance, if we wanted to use this for machine learning. This is just a name that will show up later. And uh, now after this gets done, this is a really quick operation. After this gets done, we're just going to activate the 
3.1 uh, environment and do exactly the same. So we're just going to copy this command. Let's just make sure we copy properly. And then we say conda activate TF 2.3.1. And now I'm going to run the same command, just changing here 2.3.1 and here 2.3.1. So we run it. We can see that's going to also expose the kernels. And now if we run Jupyter kernel spec list, we can see the two default Python kernels listed. So Python 3 and Python 3.85, and also the two ones that we have created. So these are two new Jupyter kernels that we have exposed with IPy kernel. So this is a tool that brings also comes with Jupyter. So we can see if we do Jupyter version, we can see that IPy kernel also comes with Jupyter. So it's an, a tool to expose or create new Python kernels. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to, let's just try. So if we deactivate, I'm just going to run Jupyter lab. So this is going to open um, my kernel my Jupyter lab here and and we're going to be able to run those kernels so we have the kernels here so we can see tensorflow 221 and 231 what i'm going to do now is just create two different notebooks with those and just add this debugging uh, code that i have here to get the the TensorFlow version. And this is an expected error. All right, so we have 221 and 231. That's what we were expecting to get. So no models named TensorFlow. We haven't really installed anything yet. So what we do now is that we go first to into 2.3.1. We do Python 3 with pip install TensorFlow 2.3.1 and at the same time, we're going to do conda activate tf221 and inside of here we're going to do the same pip install but now tensorflow 2.2.1 these two are going to be getting installed in parallel and what they're going to do is that they're going to allow us to have tensorflow available with these two different versions in our jupyter lab notebooks so right now they're not accessible so we don't even have tensorflow in these kernels but after they get installed we will we're gonna just try in a second as these two finish installing all right so we can't run them yet as you can see no model named tensorflow and now something has changed here it seems so 2.3 normally is being finishing up earlier than 2.2.1 this is still not working right, so we'll wait until this finishes So we're going to do while this is here. So I'm just going to leave this as it is, and I'm just going to close the Jupyter kernels that are here. Just going to make sure that everything stops executing. And I'm going to leave this clean. So we're going to clean up the outputs of this cell. And we're going to go here. So the 2.3 Point one has finished, so we can do Python 3 and make sure that TensorFlow is working here. And we'll do the same when 2.1 finishes. So right now these are two command lines with their proper versions of Python inside of their Anaconda environments and they're going to execute the same tf dot version command after loading tensorflow and we'll see what version each of them has the tensorflow 2.3.1 environment has 2.3.1 um, 
installed, which is good. And the 2.2.1 has 2.2.1, which is exactly what we wanted. So it seems like this is working. Now, what we do here is that we go and select the 2.2.1 kernel, and in this one, the 2.3.1, and we execute with shift enter, we execute these cells. Each of the notebooks is going to load their respective versions of TensorFlow and just display them there. So as you can see, uh, this was successful. So we have TensorFlow 2.2.1 here, 2.3.1 in here. We have uh, seen how to use uh, Python and Anaconda to create different Python environments. In this case, each of the environments has a different name that corresponds to the TensorFlow version that we have installed in them. And afterwards, we've used Python 3 command to expose those environments as kernels that can then be used inside of Jupyter to have multiple notebooks running at the same time with different versions of TensorFlow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.